Once you're the one who gets away, this is the narcissist routine. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. In today's discussion, we're delving into the post-breakup routines of individuals with narcissistic tendencies. What unfolds in their world after you've become the one who got away? But before we delve into the details, a warm welcome to our new subscribers. You're now part of a special community, and to our dedicated viewers, you are the foundation of this channel. Your support is invaluable. A heartfelt thank you to each one of you. If you've enjoyed our content and wish to contribute to its growth, consider supporting us on Ko-fi. Every contribution aids us in creating more captivating content for you. For those joining our membership program, we have a special perk for you. Your name featured in our upcoming videos. It's a small token of appreciation for the incredible individuals who make our work possible. If you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to become a part of our family. It's not just a click, it's an invitation to a journey of self-discovery. Now let's keep the conversation flowing. Share your thoughts in the comments below. And a friendly reminder, if the content resonates with you, spread the love by hitting the like button. It sends a signal to the YouTube universe that we're building something extraordinary. Exploring the complexities of a narcissist's post. Lawn. That got away routine unveils an intricate psychological terrain. As the devaluation phase kicks in, the narcissist's cognitive landscape undergoes a stark transformation. Adopting a binary perspective of absolute goodness or irredeemable badness for their former significant other. Ambiguity or middle ground has no place in this framework. If you fall short of meeting their perceived needs or deviate from their expectations, you swiftly shift from being the apple of their eye to a villain in their narrative. This binary perception is a distorted lens through which they perceive relationships. The devaluation phase exposes the crucial miscalculation on the narcissist's part. They believe they could mistreat you without consequence. They underestimated the resilience and self-worth that led you to become the one that got away. While the discard phase was intended to tighten their control through manipulation, it unexpectedly becomes a pivotal moment. The narcissist grapples with your newfound autonomy and refusal to be ensnared. The power dynamics shift, laying bare the fragile foundation upon which their self-image relies. The aftermath of your departure transforms into a battleground where their distorted perceptions collide with the undeniable reality of your liberation. You took a different path. Adjusting your metaphorical crown, you confronted the situation head-on, displaying remarkable strength despite unwarranted torment. Many of you witnessing this are resilient individuals, confronting life's challenges with unwavering fortitude. The narcissist failed to recognize your strength during the devaluation and discard phases, subjecting you to disrespect, triangulation tactics, and involving your family in a smear campaign. Seeking solace with your family felt like entering a cold, unfriendly space. Peculiar glances and hesitant responses prevailed. The narcissist propagated falsehoods, creating a pivot in your life. The devaluation and discard stages were like an explosive revelation. The mask came off, Pretense was abandoned. The lies and actions during the discard phase unveiled the authentic nature of the narcissist. Do not be deceived. This is their true self. Now let's discuss what unfolds after the discard phase. It's now in the rearview mirror. So what's the next step? Have you chosen to prioritize self-love, as I previously suggested? You confidently adjusted that metaphorical crown, and it's well-deserved. Your inherent ability to heal is radiating. Most of you who have dealt with a narcissist possess incredible strength. Your words and touch bring healing, transforming those once sorrowful tears into tears of joy. Imagine this. You're in the process of healing, seated confidently on your throne. On the other side of the coin, the narcissist is entangled in their thoughts. Since the discard, each day is spent reflecting on how you managed to slip away. Even with new people entering their life, rest assured, you occupy a permanent space in their thoughts. The struggle intensifies as they grapple with the loss of control over you, the one who escaped. Why am I so certain? Because you refuse to accept a demotion, just to conform to their dysfunctional family dynamics. Yes, I said it. The mother and sister. They rank among the worst. They sought someone easily manipulated, a doormat for them and their family. But here's the twist. You opted to prioritize self-love and adjusted your crown. Now, the narcissist is contending with their own downgrade, because you were never cut from the same cloth. As for their family, they can't stand you either. That's why I recommended severing ties. 
They don't deserve your kindness. It only serves to fuel the narcissist social media antics and the creation of fake profiles. Meanwhile, you're flourishing. Your appearance is stunning. Your bank account is thriving. Your home is fabulous. And you're cruising in a luxurious car. Additionally, you possess your passport and are exploring the world. The narcissist is discreetly monitoring your progress, lurking in the shadows, always observing. And believe me, their family chastises them for their actions, reminding them of their own foolishness. They find themselves stuck with someone far from their ideal, grappling with the harsh reality. While you're thriving, they're struggling. And here's the key. There's no need to fret about the new supply or the one waiting in the wings. They are destined to endure treatment more harrowing than you can fathom because, deep down, the one the narcissist truly desired was the one who got away. That's you. You liberated yourself, and they are fully cognizant of it. A supply as exceptional as you isn't a common occurrence, and the narcissist recognizes this. You were the one taken to upscale restaurants, not just casual coffee shops. Your significance extends beyond the narcissist's life. It ripples through their entire family. Now contemplate those manipulators. They infuriate me, but let me enlighten you. It's an entire family of narcissists. Why would you want to return to such toxicity? Remember your inherent worth. Maintain your confidence and ingrain in your mind. You were the one who escaped. They underestimated you. But as you made those adjustments, you emerged unaffected by the hardships radiating your true self. I will wear my crown. That's what we do. Kings and queens don't let anything bring them down. Keep shining, keep winning, and keep evolving because narcissists think about you every day. Never return to someone who fails to respect the truth within you. You are unique, cherished, incredible, and extraordinary. Let's plant this seed in your mind before the weekend. You are significant and unique. Yes, you. This message is directed at you. Our continuous effort revolves around uplifting our thoughts, viewing the glass as half full. Stay optimistic, anticipate the best outcomes, but also be ready for challenges. That's the essence of who you are. So continue to radiate positivity, keep achieving victories, surpass any obstacles, and, until our next video, may you be blessed and highly favored. Before you depart, I want to extend our gratitude to our incredible viewers who play a pivotal role in making our content a reality. If you appreciate what we create and wish to support us, consider contributing even as little as $1 on our Ko-Fi page. Every contribution, regardless of size, significantly aids us in maintaining and enhancing the quality of our content. As a special thank you to those who decide to join as members, your name will be prominently featured at the beginning of our videos, showcasing our deep appreciation for your generous support. Your backing empowers us to keep delivering the content you cherish and we can't thank you enough for being an integral part of our community. Find the ko link in the description below and become a valued member of our journey. If you haven't already, show your support by liking this video, hitting the like button, and subscribing for more valuable resources. For personalized guidance, explore our free book and consider a one-on-one -on -one consultation. Find the link in the description. Share your thoughts or questions in the comments. Your journey towards understanding and healing holds great significance and we're here to provide unwavering support.